everybody and welcome to another exciting installment How exciting. of Wrestling <laughs> Rampage. The two amigos are back, baby! That's Just right. deal with it. Just deal with it. Uh, guys, right. we're back and we're back with another 2010 yes. pay-per-view review for you guys. We, we The last one we reviewed was... WrestleMania 26! And it was pretty decent. And it was decent overall. Yeah, uh, let's, we enjoyed it. Let's see if Extreme Rules can... Can help do more here. Yeah, do some more here. Tommy, we're going to be doing WWE Extreme Rules! We're going to see how goddamn extreme, extreme they can get. <laughs> uh, 2010, this is the DVD review for you guys. April 25th. 2010. Tommy yes. is a Raw and SmackDown branded yep. pay-per-view, so you get to see superstars from Raw and SmackDown. Tommy on commentary. Oh, Here God. we go. We got our commentary team: Michael Cole, the Nimrod, Matt Striker, even more Nimrod, and Jerry Lawler, who has to deal with these two hacks. Well, that's why Jerry's no good here. <sighs> to Tommy. be honest, Jerry Lawler is the only good one in this whole trio. And he has no one to play off of. And he has nobody to play off of. Yeah. yeah. Um, horrible fucking announced team. I'm sorry. Horrible. Fucking Matt Stryker is fucking horrible. And we're going to get to some Matt Stryker here soon about some of these shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, we will. Uh, Tommy, the theme song for this pay-per-view yes. is, is Time to Shine by Saliva. A really good song. Good song. Yeah. Uh, not one of my favorite Saliva songs. But, but it's, it's, hey... It's to me. It's a pretty good song. It's a pretty good song. One well, because I like saliva. So no doubt. Uh, Tommy, we're at the first Mariner. We're we're in the first Mariner Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. And let's go go with the dark match. We have the dark match of Kofi Kingston as he takes on Dolph Ziggler. I'm be honest. That sounds like a pretty decent dark match. Decent dark match overall. Uh, and of course, Kofi Kingston beats Dolph Ziggler. Yes. So. Enough, Big win for Kofi in the dark uh, match. Uh, enough said on that. But, Tommy, we, we start off with the pay-per-view. Yes. And we start off with the um, the street fight. Yes. Between Triple H, Triple H and Sheamus. Yeah. As you can tell by the cover. Fella! That's right. But anyway, uh, we, we hear Triple H's theme song. And I'm sitting here like... Damn, Triple H. Yeah, Triple H is curtain jerking. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Uh, but uh, say it isn't so because we hear Triple H's theme song, you know, and and nobody's coming out. And then we get a, we get some footage in the back live. Yeah, with uh, Sheamus uh, beating down Triple H in the back, and uh, and I was thinking, oh, cool, maybe they can just go ahead and yeah, you know, start start in the back, you know, but no. What happens is Sheamus hits hits Triple H with this little. It's like a short ass little yeah, fucking lead pipe. Small lead pipe. That's yeah, a small ass. A lead small pipe. Arn Anderson special. <laughs> the lead pipe. Uh, he hits Triple H. Triple H goes down, and the referee flags uh, Sheamus yeah. off. And, the and here comes the trainers. You know the masters of the Z pack. Yeah, the masters of the Z packs. Yeah. Uh, to look after Triple H, take a Z pack. You'll be fine. Yep. And um. So, pretty much this match is uh, null and void. Yeah. Uh, because uh, during during the show, we... Uh, well, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and go with the next, uh, the next thing. Well, basically the first match. Yeah, the first match is Tommy... Well, we shouldn't say first match yet. Oh, yeah. Show Miss comes oh, out. Oh, yeah. I came to play. It's the price yeah. to pay. Don't have time to get down on your knees. I came to Big Show. No. The fucking horrible mashup. Here it comes, baby. I can't get out of my Big Show. The big Show. I came to play with the Big Show. No. I hate that. Crank it up, Big Show. <laughs> uh, the no way you can see Big Show. No. I fucking hate that. It's a horrible mashup and a horrible tag team, yeah. in my opinion, right now. Horrible. Guys, go listen to it. All it is is fucking business theme song, and, and then, then you, and then every between, time, a big show, big show, or crank it up, <laughs> crank it up, big show. And I was sitting there like, what the fuck? I this, hate the song. Th this makes me hate this fucking team. 
Yeah, well, Showbiz comes out, and Tommy, they're running their mouth about yeah. how they're the greatest tag team because they, they are the unified tag yeah. team champions. How they single-handedly dominated the tag team division. It wasn't that stellar in 2010. Yeah, it wasn't. The, but, yeah, how, what did they dominate? <laughs> yeah, they all they dominate was jobber teams. No or doubt. Team, or, or let me go back. Teams that never teamed up before, let's just throw them together. Yeah. Call them a tag team. Which we'll get to that here. Oh, yeah, we're going to see a lot of that. So, Teddy Long comes out and says, uh, you need to quit running your mouth, Miz. And, and he goes, listen, you want some competition? I'll do some competition tonight. You go ahead and face one team. He goes, ah, so, one team, ah, uh, we'll take care of that. Two and, teams. Yeah, and then, and then, and then fucking, and Miz keeps talking. He goes, three teams. And then Big Show goes, he puts his mat, his fist over and shut up. Yeah, shut up, shut up. So, so now it's a gauntlet. It's a gauntlet match. So it's and Show Miz versus three teams. Yeah, Don't versus, know which three teams yet. But we should mention that uh, whoever wins will get a this number, gauntlet match. Yeah, we'll we'll get, a number one will get will be number one contenders for the unified tag team titles. Which will be uh, you'll get a shot on Raw. Yeah, which is the draft. Yeah. So great. Uh, so Tommy, the first to the come first out. tag team to come out. It's the team that lost at WrestleMania for about three or four minutes, John Morrison and our truth. Yes. I was like, oh damn, let's send them out there. And guess what? They didn't they did the same thing they did at WrestleMania, the job. Yeah. So In short time. In short time, yeah. Um, when can you miss this motherfucker? Shitty. Shitty. Uh Miz uh sorry, Morrison gets a uh, big, big show, show like in an arm bar. And he's and he's again and he's got and he's and Big Show's got him over the rope. Got him over the rope. While he's still holding on to the uh, arm bar. One, two, three, four, five. I guess John Morrison's illiterate or, or fucking he's too busy doing parkour. I don't fucking know. <laughs> but but this motherfucker didn't know that the referee's counting to five. Yes. Are you fucking illiterate? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with and our John truth, Morrison. And our truth goes, hey, what's the up, king, man? The king of sparkling abs. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with his stupid ass. And then our truth goes, did we lose? Oh, we did. Fuck it. Let's go to the back. And you see our truth. The walk, walk of shame. So you see our truth and John Morrison with the walk of shame. Why another tag team comes out? Another hodgepodge tag team. MVP and Mark Henry. Fuck MVP's running real fast. Mark Henry's just gingerly running, and it, Mark Henry goes, "Yeah, pit his ass." <laughs> yeah, pit well, his I'm getting ass. up there. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, pit his ass. <laughs> well, go ahead, pit his. Go ahead and try to pin the Miz while I'm still running to the fucking ring here. Um, Big Show uh, runs and he goes over the rope. Yes. Uh, and MVP hits the playmaker on the Miz. On the Miz. So we're sitting there. He like, goes oh, for. Great. He goes for the cover. Knockout punch by the Big Show. The Miz pins up MVP. One, two, three. Kind of boring. Kind of boring. So we get the last, uh, the last team. And here coming. comes the last team. Finally, a real tag team. The Hart Dynasty with Bret Hart and then Natalya. Here they come. So uh, David Hart Smith and Tyson Kidd. And, and tell me, me what and this happens? was short too. Short. What happened? Well, they get in the ring. And the uh, springboard heart attack. Springboard heart attack on the Miz. David Hart Smith Penzi, one, two, three. So the Hart Dynasty are number one contenders for the uh, unified tag team titles for the fucking blase Raw draft here. With uh, with Bret Hart and Big Titty Natalia yeah. on the outside. You want to tell you what I thought of this match? Fuck this match. Fuck this match. And here's the thing. Why make if it you a were gonna, match? If you were going to, yeah, why make it a gauntlet match? And one, if you're going to make the Hart Dynasty number one contenders, why don't you just went ahead and do that and just have the Hart Dynasty versus Show Miz? Mm -hmm. It would have really made won. more better yeah. sense than putting these fucking random tag teams like R Truth and John Morrison already lost three or four minutes. And fucking WrestleMania, they lost another three or four minutes. And then MVP and Mark Henry, who is a decent tag team, but they were another team that was just thrown together. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Henry and MVP and R Truth and John Morrison just shouldn't have been out there. Yeah. Regardless. Yeah, even though I like MVP. And, yeah, but still. And I respect Mark Henry. And, but but if you were going to do that, you should have just had the Hart Dynasty versus Show Miz for the Unified Tag Team titles. Instead of a shitty gauntlet. Yeah. Which made it shitty. Yeah. Made, and, that, and what a way to... And what a way for Extreme Rules. To it, kick off. Yeah, oh boy. Let's go with the next match, Tommy. We have CM Punk 
CM Punk, baby. The Savior. With Straight Edge Society with him, Serena and Luke Gallows. Luke Gallows, as he takes on Rey Mysterio. Yes. That, uh, that heathen. Yeah. They had a short little match at WrestleMania. Short little match at WrestleMania. Which was a good short little match. Yeah, it was good. But here, if uh, CM Punk loses, if he, loses. he gets his head shaved. He gets his head shaved bald. So, and, and, and of course... And how it, extreme is this? How extreme is that? CM Punk may lose his hair. That's well, I a, guess that's he's extreme because he loves his hair. No doubt, but Tommy... It's his hair. <laughs> it's his hair. That's right. But Tommy, did you like... Did you like the the barber chair? Oh yeah, what a great barber chair they got. With the clip. They, they used the WrestleMania twenty one, did you know that? <laughs> yeah. That's Victoria Molly Holly used. And I think they're used to the same Gillette that they had there too. Yeah. And they got six bottles of Gillette. Six bottles of Gillette. You should have used Barber Seal if you were going to use the goddamn. <laughs> use Gillette. that barber saw, man. Yeah, use that, that barber saw you get at the dollar store. Yeah. You know, if you want to save some fucking money. But then again, but then again. Gillette then Gillette shave cream about three or four dollars a fucking bottle. Yeah, when you go to fucking Dollar General, get and barbersaw get for barber a dollar. <laughs> barbersaw for fucking a dollar. Yes. Hell, if you if if they told me, hey, if Vince goes, hey, we need some shaving cream prop out there, I'll bring the barbersaw. <laughs> and Vince goes, no, I want Gillette. <laughs> well, beggars can't be choosers. Dollar General's right. Well, across I'm the pretty sure at this time Gillette had a had a had a sponsorship. Yeah, there. probably. So, hey. Gillette is the best a man can get, that's right? right. Uh, we use Barbersol. Yeah, that's Cheaper. what I would use. But anyway, uh, so if CM Punk loses, he gets his head shaved bald. Uh, we should mention that uh, Serena gets involved. Yep. Pulling Ray's leg. Um, Luke Gallows gets involved. He gets on onto the apron. Yes. And, well, the referee wasn't having it. No. So he ejected Serena and Luke Gallows. So they had to go to the back. You... Out of here! Yes, <laughs> that's, that's the way he Luke did it. Luke Gallows and Serena had to go to the back. Yes. So CM Punk didn't have uh, his followers out there. Uh, a lot of big moves. Yeah. Uh, I'll be honest. This was this was a real good match. I actually I actually liked this match better than the WrestleMania match. Yeah, I did too. I liked this match better than the WrestleMania match. Uh, a lot of false finishes because I mean, like they had some big moves and you're yeah. like one, two, kick out. Man, I was like, oh. Yeah, this match between this was really good. Rey Mysterio and CM Punk. I like this match better than WrestleMania. Yeah, the WrestleMania was good too, but it was just short. It was really short. But Tommy, a mystery man. Yeah, here comes a mystery man from underneath the ring. Underneath the ring, and he has a wearing chair. a hoodie. Yeah, wearing a hoodie. And, and some. Fucking, and we're not talking about the neighbor hoodie. No, no, and some blue jeans and fucking fucking. Fucking Timberlands, I guess. Yeah. I don't fucking know. Or some work lugs or lugs. Or fucking whatever the fuck. And, and he grabs Rey Mysterio. Well, he has a chair first. Well, he has a chair and first. He and, he throw, and he throws it in the ring to distract the referee. So he slides underneath and, and goes And then Rey Mysterio's side. outside. And he grabs Rey Mysterio and set him up for a fucking... Uh, it was like an alley-loop he, face yeah, buster. Yeah, it was an alley-oop. Yeah. Big Show used that before. Yeah. And uh, so Rey Mysterio's out. On the outside. And uh, the mystery man goes under the ring. Had a little trouble getting back under the ring. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't get back under the ring. Yeah, he's a little fuck. He barely had trouble getting in the ring. Out, too many tables. Under there. Yeah. Or, or too many fucking sodas and shit. <laughs> yeah, you see the sodas? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, and then Tommy, CM Punk. CM Punk comes out. Grab, gets, grabs him. Throws him in the ring. Sets him up. GTS while he's already knocked out. He's already knocked out. Hooks the leg. Rolls the hair. <laughs> one, two, three. So he gets to keep his hair. And, and CM Punk picks up the win over Rey Mysterio. And then he goes to the the, the barber chair <laughs> where he sees the Gillette won't be used. <laughs> plays with his hair. He's like, yeah, fuck Gillette. I ain't using it. <laughs> That's right. It ain't the best that Punk can get. Yeah, ain't the best that Punk can get. He wants a barber suit. <laughs> That's what Punk uses. He used Barbersaw. Uh, but anyway, uh, he plays with the hair of the barber chair. And Tommy. I'm going to be honest, that uh, was a good match. It was a good match. Really good. Uh, so far, best match so far. Best match so far. Uh, and we should mention that who the mystery man is. Oh, the mystery man is Joey Mercury. Now, of course, they didn't reveal it yet. Yeah. He's still a mystery man, but he would eventually become Joey Mercury. Joey Mercury. So, let's go ahead and go with the next match, Tommy. 
Yes. We went from a great match to... Yeah, it was starting to get good. It was starting to get good. Uh, I was like, oh, man. And then, right. of course, and of course in, time, in, in typical, in typical WWE fucking fashion. fashion. Yeah. Oh, it's starting to get high. Let's bring it back down. Yeah, yeah. Tommy, we have a strat match. How uh -huh. extreme is a strat match, Tommy? Not too extreme to me. I'm not a big fan of strat matches. No, but, no yeah, I, I agree. Uh, strat matches are just not really my thing. Now, there are a couple that I've enjoyed yeah, but, over the years, but not yeah, very many. Not that many. Strat match, Tommy. Between former former partners. Yes. And now they're feuding with each other. Yeah. We have Shad. Shad Gaspard. Shad Gaspard. Well, he goes by Chad here. Yeah, he goes by Shad now. Only, so just, just one word. Versus JT. His former partner. From Crime Time. JTG. JTG. Now, Tommy, we should mention that three weeks before this pay-per-view. Yeah. Three weeks before How this pay-per-view. How can you build up a rivalry in three weeks? In three weeks. Uh, they, lost a, they lost a tag team match like yeah. they normally do. Because I'm sorry, they were a shitty tag team. I don't care, you know. We we said it before, and Shad didn't like it. And yes, and I know we're gonna be talking about Shad here, and I know he passed away, unfortunately. And, hey, we're saying he's a nice guy. Yeah, could be a great guy, but he's a league, lousy wrestler. He wasn't that good. And t and Crime Time wasn't that good of a tag team to me. I'm sorry. End of story. Yeah, but you they want truth. We give you truth. Yeah. If, if you, you want to lie, we'll tell you a lie. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, JTG's my favorite wrestler. Nobody's ever said that. Yeah. And nobody ever will say that. Yeah. Anyway, let's go in here. Uh, they broke up three weeks in a losing effort on SmackDown. Yep. And Shad attacks JTG. Well, first he grabs him by the chin there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he grabs him by the chin. Gives him the goddamn grip. Yeah. Shad gives uh, him the goddamn grip, and JTG goes, what the fuck are you doing? So, and then Shad just hits a big boot. Big Boot attacks him and says, It ain't crowd time no more. It's my time. Yeah. Which fits the uh, the saliva uh, time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does, don't it? Uh, but anyway. Um, besides that, what else could you really say about this match, Tommy? Well, here's the thing. How can you get interested or invested in a match three weeks out? When you do a rivalry for just three weeks, mm -hmm. no one would care. Yeah, and like I said, crime time was not over. It's it, uh, yeah, like they kind of wore out their welcome in around this time, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like that, that's, they were being used that. They great. they were popular in what two thousand six, two thousand six, two thousand seven. Yeah, that's when they could have been world tag team champions because they were over. Yeah, around oh eight, oh nine, and ten, they were kind of they were kind of lower carb bottom team. of the barrel. Yeah, lower card tag team. And, you know, of course, you're in a strap match. They, they, there ain't much you can do in a strap match. You know, they're pulling the straps. They're whipping each other with yeah. the, uh, with, with a strap. They're choking. And I'm going to be honest, this match wasn't that good. And it wasn't that good. And, of course, Tommy, in typical lazy booking fashion. Yeah, I hate the finish. Um, They do the... You know, of course, you got to touch Shad, the panels. Shad hits it, then behind him, JTG, JTG hits, hits, it, hits then him. Then the same thing. Same thing in succession. And Tommy, in a strap matches, it's rules. Yeah, there's rules there's in There's rules match. in a strap match. And the strap match rules is you hit all four turnbuckles in succession. And what in succession means... No breakup. No breakup. No move. No move. One, two, three, four. In succession. But no. No, not in this match, Tommy. No, not in this fucking match. They go to the third one. And as they're going to the fourth one, Shad feels him, you know, getting loose. Yeah. And Shad hits him with like that, like, drive-by neck breaker thing yeah. that he does, which could look shitty to me. Yeah, and then he hits the fourth turn. And then he gets up and then he just hits the fourth turn. And the referee goes Ring the bell. bell. I was like, that should have been a breakup. That should have been a breakup. He did a move on Shad. Yeah, but he didn't hit him, but who cares? If a strap match, you're, if you do a move, they, it's four corners in succession. It ain't, hey, you could do a move and hit the fourth corner. Mm -hmm. Fucking horrible rules. Fucking, and, and a horrible match, to be honest with you. Yeah. You could tell the, the crowd was dead in this match. I'm sorry. 
They were. I was dead for this. Man. No, oh, no, I'm talking about. There was no crowd noise. Yeah, it was really, it was really shitty. The match was not that stellar. Really shitty match. Yeah. Uh, but she, but JTG wins his 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 vengeance against Shad. Yeah. His former partner in a shitty match. Yeah. Let's go with the next match, Tommy. It's an Extreme Rules match. Extreme Rules match. For the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, here Championship. we go. Oh, you could wait for this one. Oh, I've been looking forward to it. For the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah. We have the champion. The reigning and, and defending, defending World Heavyweight Champion. Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger. Versus... Who's the reigning and defending... World Heavyweight Champion, as he defends his World Heavyweight Championship against Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Can and I tell you something? What a great promo oh, package. Whoa, yeah, you know the visual move they do. And, uh, you know, Randy Orton's got his face shown, and he has a video package, like a small little video package. In the back. In the back, he shows he Mark A. on Jack Swagger. Okay, that's well good, because Swagger deserves it. Yeah. And when he's weak, so, so that's perfect. And what does the great world heavyweight champion have on his video package? It has his ugly ass He mug. has his ugly ass stonewall fucking buzz cut of fucking spiky hair of a face. <laughs> yes. And you know, what, you know what? Yeah, those fucking... His face sucks. His hair sucks. Everything about swagger sucks. <laughs> and you know what the great world heavyweight champion have is his video package? What's his video package? Oh, man. You're talking about... that? will get the world heavyweight champion over. His little video. He's doing the gut wrench <laughs> power bomb to Santino Morella. What a great world champ... What a great world champion there. Uh, I thought that was on Superstars. <laughs> it probably was. <laughs> Oh, what a great... You know, you got Randy Orton. Okay, big star. RKO and Swagger. Okay, that's cool. Then you then you show Jack Swagger with a stone wall of a fucking face. <laughs> and his spiked fucking hair. RK, uh, fucking gut fire powerbomb on Santino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're supposed to invest in Swagger. <laughs> well, we should mention that, Tommy, on SmackDown. Yeah. After Edge attacked Chris Jericho. Yeah. Here comes... Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger. He spears uh, Edge. Yeah, he takes out Edge. Him. And then he runs in, hands the money in the bank to the referee. Referee rings the bell, and all he did was a gut wrench powerbomb pins Jericho. Yeah. So he won the World Heavyweight title <sighs> by doing that. By doing that. Tommy. Yeah. What did you think about this match? Can I tell you something here? Let's be fucking realistic. Let's be real. Let's be... If you want realistic, let's be fucking realistic. Randy Orton, you're thinking this is going to be a new world heavyweight champion. Easy win for Randy Orton here. Easy win. Oh, easy. Easy. <laughs> you might as well dust This is probably be the easiest world title win for Randy Orton ever. Come on, he gets lisp. I don't give a fuck swagger. He fucking sucks. If and he needs to RKO and get and, and maybe they'll get that fucking lisp off of it because he sucks. I'm sorry, he's boring. He's and not over. That's actually what I called this match, and I wrote down here, boring. It was boring. It was really boring. And I thought, it, and, and it didn't get good until Randy Orton finally did so. Because uh, all Swagger did was amateur. If you want to do that shit, go to NCAA, bitch. Or MMA. Or MMA. What you you blew that? You couldn't do that either with your spiked fucking hair. I'm sorry, he sucks. He does. He's a shitty world champion. He's never gotten better, never will get better. And how long has he been in the goddamn business? A while. Too and long. he's never gotten fucking better. And he still has the fucking lisp. <laughs> Boring. Tommy, the only time it got interesting was there was a trash can. Oh, it didn't the... get good till Randy Orton did stuff. Randy Orton hits him with a trash can. And the crowd popped. Then... You can tell these people say, fuck this guy. This guy don't look like a world champion. When you look at Jack Swagger as the world heavyweight champion here, you laugh. Mm -hmm. And it shows you how... Know why. You know why you laugh? Because it shows you how how horrible 2010 really was. And not only that, but I mean, Jack Swagger still looked high, too. <laughs> he looked high or fucking... Or fucking he took an Adderall with Tony Khan around this time? Oh, wait a yeah. minute. He didn't meet Khan yet. He didn't milk his money yet. Uh, Tommy, they do a couple of table spots. Yeah. Big DDT. Yeah. 
And you're thinking, oh, oh man, and Orton's then got this. Yeah, Orton's got this. Come on, man. This is going to be an easy win, an easy world title win for Randy Orton. So Orton sets up a chair in the ring. Yeah. Sitting up, you know, regular chair, yes. you know, folded chair. And he do- and he's about to deliver the RKO to him on yeah. the chair. Well, Swagger pushes him off, and Orton hits his back on the ass of the chair. Yeah, on, 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 the, on the chair, on the ass of the chair. And then and you see Orton holding his back. What and Sex Swagger just picks him up, hits the gut wrench power bomb, one two three, and I was like, "Fuck this match!" And fuck okay, this. Hold on, this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, I was like, "What the fuck?" Orton's beat people like he's beat people like Undertaker, Triple H, John Cena, fucking Batista, Batista, fucking fucking almost every big star, but he can't beat fucking J- Jack fucking List by. Fucking hair swagger. Yes. Give me a fucking... This is a blemish on Orton's career. I bet you it was. No doubt. No, this is a fucking embarrassment. It, it was It was. Really he couldn't beat fucking... Rand, Randy Orton couldn't beat fucking Jack Swagger. Give me a fucking break. But Tommy... When that killed this match, I was like, fuck this match. Yeah, fuck this match. I can't take Jack Jack Swagger. He never... He, 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 he's, a, he's a joke. Mm-hmm. And he always has been. He's a joke. But Tommy, Randy Orton, on the outside, yeah, he and Swagger yeah, with an Swagger's RKO. got the world heavyweight title, walking off. Yeah, I beat a big star, which I never will be. And then Randy Orton hits RKO. It's like, you couldn't have done that five minutes ago? <laughs> and beat this fucking American fuck? <laughs> fuck this match. Fuck this match. And fuck Jack Swagger's world title push. He don't deserve shit. All he deserves is fucking wear that soccer shirt. That's all he fucking deserves. <laughs> Let's go with the next match. Yeah, let's go with the next fucking match. The next match, Tommy, is the street fight between yes. Sheamus and Triple H. Now, of course, Todd Grisham's yeah, Todd Grisham has been uh, by uh, Triple they, H's well, Here's another thing. Training Won't room. they take out fucking Matt Stark and put Todd Grisham in his spot? I'd, I'd rather hear Tom Grisham on commentary yeah. over, over fucking Matt Stark. I can endure Michael Cole. He's easy to fucking yeah. ignore. But you could put Todd Grisham... And Matt Stryker, let Matt Stryker do the fucking interview, because he's a fucking idiot anyway. <laughs> well, we're going to get to his idiots. And uh, he, uh, Seamus comes out and says, you know what, just go ahead and declare me Yeah, the here he comes with the lead pipe. With the small lead pipe. <laughs> yeah, and, and his song, it's a shame of faith. Wash your way. <laughs> yeah, I love that song. <laughs> love the song, love the song. Fella, fella. He's yeah, on fucking Seamus, baby. Uh, which this is what I actually like, Sheamus. She- Sheamus has been impressing me in 2010. Yeah. yeah, he has been. I'm not. I'm not joking. I'm. I was pretty behind him in 2010 so far. Um. And uh, well, he said declare him the winner because Triple H ain't gonna show because he took him out, fella. Yep. And uh, so well, here comes Triple H out of the training room. Yeah, here he comes with out the ice pack. Of, here comes out of the training room. Pushes he's, Tiger around He's the holding way. the arm. Yeah. Throws the goddamn ice pack. And Z Pack Man, no, Trips, I gotta put some Z's in you. <laughs> I gotta do some Z packs on you. I gotta put some Z's in you. And Triple H goes, <laughs> fuck the Z packs. <laughs> the Z packs. So he comes out. And Tommy. Triple H. Yes. Gets in the ring. And you know what we didn't get to see? No. The circle. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't see him come down. I was pissed. Where the ring is. And the camera do the do the circle pan. I didn't, we didn't get to see, see that. Yeah. I was kind of pissed off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, as 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 we usually do. Uh, Tommy Triple H sold like a motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, he tr- he tries to use the lead pipe. Triple H gets out of it. Uh, he's wrestling with one arm. Yes. And, and see, it, that's it, another. He sells the and, arm. And he's selling it. And to this and to, and to this degree. He's about to hook him with the with the pedigree. And, and fucking he hurts. He goes, ah, oh, my arm. I can't do it. I can't do it, my arm. And see, fucking selling. You don't see anymore. Pay attention to details. Fuck. Triple H is selling the arm. He tries the pedigree. He can't get it because of his arm. Can't get it because of he his goes, arm. He goes, ah, my arm. And fucking he's selling. Something you don't see anymore. No. Uh, but eventually... Uh, he gets the pipe. Uh, Shannon yes. gets the pipe, and he does hit Triple H with it. And Tommy, they end up getting like a kendo stick. Yeah. Now this is a street fight, so yes. I mean, it can go anywhere. Uh, uh, 
uh, Triple H starts using the kendo stick on him. Yeah, I'm talking about he he he's hitting the shit out of Sheamus yeah. with that kendo stick. Uh, you can even see the whelp song yeah. on Sheamus. Yeah. So, um, but Tommy, when they're on the outside, uh, uh, Triple H tries to hook the 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 uh, the, the the pedigree again, but yeah. he can't because his arm. Uh, and <clears throat> Sheamus backs drops him on the yep. steel, and Triple H finally gets back up. Big bro kick. Yep. On the outside. They go back into the ring. Another bro kick. Another bro kick by Sheamus. While Triple H got back in the ring. Yeah. And then Triple H gets back up. He's in the corner. In the corner. Another he's bro pull, He's pulling up into the and corner. And another bro kick. Bro kick and he falls into the corner like yep. this. And then. The referee goes, Triple H, do you want to keep going? Do you want to keep going? And Triple H ain't saying a word. Triple H didn't say a word and he goes, Suck it to Sheamus. <laughs> Suck it to Sheamus. So Sheamus hits another bro kick. Bro kick. Covers him. One, two, three. And Sheamus picks up the win over the game. Triple H, he puts his foot over his lip body. Yeah, he puts the foot over. Fella! <laughs> and you know what? I enjoyed this match. Yes, this was actually a good match. It uh, really was. Yeah, I really enjoyed this match. You know what selling does for you? Yeah, I really Damn. enjoyed it. It was a good... It was a good street fight match between Triple H and Sheamus. Uh, I really enjoyed this yeah. match. Uh, and then uh, uh, Tommy, uh, Triple H wanted to, uh, uh, well. They were trying to put him on the stretch. Trainers and Z-Pack Mans out yeah, there trying goes, to. Triple H, got to put some Z's in you. <laughs> we got to put this neck brace on you. We got to put the neck brace on you and we got we to get you in Triple H. Fuck the knee brace. <laughs> fuck the hip. Fuck the neck brace. Uh. <laughs> Fuck the Z packs. Uh. We and, need to uh, put you on this gurney. Fuck the gurney, yeah. <laughs> and he, he he rips the neck that neck brace off, and he starts he starts limping, and of course the crowd's clapping yeah. for Triple H. And Triple H great effort. walks himself out. And when he gets up to the to the to the uh, end of the way, another bro comes kick. back, another bro kick, and Triple H is a limp noodle. Yeah, he's a limp noodle. So they put him on the gurney. They put the neck brace on yeah. and they wheel him to the back. So nice little end of that, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, good match overall. Yes, I really enjoyed that match. Next match, Tommy, is an extreme makeover. Have match. you noticed? We get a good match. <laughs> yeah, we get you're like, good. okay, and it sells it down. And then it goes right back down to fucking lower level. You're like, oh, another uh, another boring match to calm down the crowd, huh? Tommy, what the hell is an extreme makeover match? I have no fucking clue. I don't either. All I saw was a fucking table with some fucking... Makeup and mirrors. No, no, hang on. A fucking table with goddamn fucking Dollar Tree goddamn... You know those goddamn Dollar Tree fucking... Uh, tablecloths. Tablecloths. With fucking makeup, fucking iron board, fucking fucking iron, fucking... There's a broom and goddamn There's goddamn a broom rocks. and a fucking mop and there's a fucking bucket of fucking water and, and shit like this. Like, like, what, what the fuck is this? What, what the fuck even is this? Right? Tommy, it's for the WWE Women's Championship with the yes. champion Michelle McCool with Layla and Vicky Guerrero. Well, Tommy, did you like that? Uh, did you like the match striker called Vicky a Kruger, a Cougar, Rawr, as he says? <sighs> He's a fucking idiot. I fucking hate you, match striker. Yeah, man, <laughs> Vicky's a Kruger. Rawr. How about you fucking take your row and shove it up <laughs> your fucking ass where your goddamn face is? <laughs> Where his face is on his on the back. His of the ass head. looks like a face. <laughs> what a fucking tan fuck. Versus Beth Phoenix. Yes. And poor Beth Phoenix has to go through another shitty match here. Tommy, they use hairspray. Yeah. They spray oh in Beth Phoenix's eyes. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna get to the hairspray. Yeah. I know one of the worst selling jobs in hairspray. <laughs> we'll get to that in a oh, second. Oh, you damn right we're going to. Tommy, they use an ironing board yes. as a weapon. Beth Phoenix, uh, she's about to do a suplex to Michelle McCool on two ironing boards in the ring. Michelle McCool kicks her off and looks like a little bad landing for yeah. Beth. She, she looks like she landed on her head. Yes. Uh, but she, she eventually gets back up, Tommy. And they go on the outside. Beth throws her on the makeup table. Yes. And Tommy, Layla grabs, well, Layla and, and Michelle McCool, sorry, Layla and Vicky, grab. Vicky grab Beth's arms. Yes. And she's about to use the hairspray, hairspray again. 
And Tommy, Beth Phoenix moves and she sprays Layla in the You face. mean Michelle McCool sprays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelle it's McCool sorry, yeah. sprays Vicky Guerrero and Layla. One of the worst sales I've ever seen in my life for fucking hairspray. How did Layla sell it, Tommy? <laughs> Make you see her fucking eyes open. Listen, bitch, you gotta fucking sell. <laughs> and then Vicky, ah, ah, and she can't fucking sell either. Fuck it, it was fucking horrible. Oh, we're gonna get to more horrible here in a minute. Remember the goddamn broom spot? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, that, that's what it was. Uh, yeah. Uh, they were... They were knocking... Beth uh, Phoenix is trying to do, a, I think, a suplex to suplex. fucking Michelle McCool while they're in the ring. Mm -hmm. And fucking Layla and Vicky Guerrero. Layla's using a fucking broom, and Vicky's using a fucking mop. And they're trying to hit Beth Phoenix in the legs. And they're trying the to hit Beth Phoenix in the legs. And one of the worst calls I've ever seen in my life by Bat Striker. What was that call? <laughs> Get the cat off my fence! <laughs> Get the cat off my fence! I was like... Fuck this match. Fuck this announcer. Can we just have a dark match where you don't have to hear the fucking announcers? Can we have no commentary, please? Because cause it was fucking awful. It was awful. And this match fucking sucked. But, Tommy, Michelle McCool attempts, which which this is probably the only good part of the yeah. match, was uh, Michelle McCool attempts the Faith, the faith Breaker, which yeah. is the Styles Clash. Yeah. And she swing, uh, Beth swings around. Yeah. Gets her up. Glam slam on Glam Michelle slam. McCool. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Thank God this match is over. And Beth Phoenix wins the WWE Women's Championship. And you know what? The crowd was dead. It was dead. The crowd didn't give two fucks. You know. The crowd. The crowd was happy Beth won. I think that was see, the only thing that's the only th they got. That's the only thing I'm happy about. Yeah, that was the only thing goddamn thing I enjoyed. That was it. The match was horrible. Let's go with the next match, Tommy. Yeah. Fuck that match. Yeah, fuck that match. That next match, match Tommy, is a steal. So far, Extreme cage. Rules has been shit rules. Shit so, rules? So, or, yeah, so far. Because I only see two good matches so far. Two good matches. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Two good matches so far. Uh, next match, Tommy, is a steel cage match when Edge, with yes. the crazy eyes, the crazy <laughs> eyes, takes on... Chris Jericho, or Chris before the gut Jericho. Yeah, Chris before the gut Jericho. When he had talent. Tommy. Yeah. Of course, you know, everybody knows what happened to WrestleMania. Yeah. And, you know, Chris Jericho's working on edge, trying to hurt his Achilles tendon. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know... Tried to, you know, use the stairs on yes. him and everything. And and I loved how Edge came out. He's just... With the crazy eyes. Yeah, he has the crazy eyes. And he, he's looking around the cage like this. And he has the crazy eyes. Uh, and Jericho's not getting in the cage. Yeah, and Chris Jericho's not wanting to get in the cage. Um, but eventually he has to, you know, of course. Um, this match was okay. Yeah, this match um, was good, actually. You know, like compared to a lot of this shit, a lot of this shit on this show. This, so, yeah, this match was was pretty decent. Yes, it was. Um, you know, nothing fantastic though. Uh, Chris tries to, uh, like, um, you know what else was funny though? Hmm. While well, Jericho's doing a, I can't remember what move. Remember the fan that had the sign that says "Ask him." <laughs> yeah, the, Chris, no. Chris had him in the wall. Oh, yeah. Hey, guy holds up so Ask him. Ask him. <laughs> like Chris uh, Jericho would say. Yeah, ask him. But, uh, uh, of course, um, you know, you could escape the cage. You could win by submission or, or pinfall. Yeah. Um, Chris could have got out of the cage. Yeah, but he did. He had edge down. And he's about to go over to the cage. He's about to go over and the he cage. Tells the referee, the door. He tells the referee, close the door again. Yeah. And he goes back to Edge. He goes back in there. I think he had a chair with him. Yeah. Yeah. He tried to use a chair on Edge. Couldn't really get the job done. One of my favorite spots was when uh, Chris Jericho did the springboard code breaker. Oh, yeah. That was actually pretty yes, entertaining. Yes, it was. He does a springboard code breaker on Edge. Yeah. Which was awesome. Uh, you don't see that nowadays. Um, well, he can't get the gut up in the air. Yeah, he can't get the gut up in there. 
uh, Edge, uh, uh, as, as Chris Jericho's, uh, coming through. Yeah. Um, he signs for the door to be open. Well, yeah. Ed, Edge signs for the door to be open. And, uh, he sticks Jericho's leg out the door. Yeah. And slams the door. Yeah, and you're um, Jericho. Ah! Uh, with his ankle. Yep. And he starts twisting the ankle. Yep. To show, to show, uh, uh Chris Jericho, you know, what, what the, the, the Achilles tendon feels yes. like. He's twisting the ankle. He starts stomping on the goddamn ankle. And then, while like, Jericho's trying to get up, because he's limping. He's limping like Lip Lou. Edge is over there with the crazy eyes. And he's, he's waiting and for He's it. pulling the hair back while with he's crazy eyes. waiting for Jericho to get up. Yeah. Spear by Edge on Chris Jericho. Covers, Edge covers Jericho, one, two, three, and the rated R superstar, Edge, gets his revenge here with a big win over Chris Jericho. Chris B.G. Jericho. Yeah. Um, pretty good match. Yeah, it was a pretty good match. Uh, it's probably the third best match so far. So far, we found three. The crazy eyes. Three good matches out of fucking how many? Too many. Yeah. Let's go with the... Main event of Extreme Rules. Main event of Extreme Rules. Last man standing match for, for the, the WWE yeah. Championship when the champion John Cena defends the WWE Championship with Charles Reed Fowler, aka Brother Sage, his favorite wrestler, Batista Man! Batista Man! Now, of course, this is a rematch from WrestleMania 26. Yeah. Which was a good match. I was impressed with their WrestleMania 26. Yeah, yeah. Match. Um, and, uh... Hopefully this match would be just as better. You know, they don't know what to use the match for, and eventually they come to last man standing. And leading up to this, Batista gets choked out by John Cena with that shitty STF. Yeah, move. and by Cena's doing the countdown. Yeah, and Cena does the ten the ten countdown. <laughs> Recipe for Dodo. Yeah, uh, and um, Tommy, they use chairs in this match. Oh yeah. Uh, Batista ends up that uh, they have a table set up in the corner, and uh, uh, Batista kicks uh, John Cena off of him, and Cena goes to the table. Um, uh, and then. Uh, you know, you've been on the outside. Yes. When he's attacking uh, John. Yes. You remember the little kid? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Batista's attacking John Cena on the outside. And some little kid. You hear the voice. You hear the little voice of the little kid. I hate you, Batista. Kid. Batista, I, I hate you, too. I hate you, too. <laughs> to a little kid. I hate you, Batista. I hate you, too. <laughs> then he goes back beating the shit out of Cena. And he starts beating John Cena up again. Which, that was pretty funny. Yeah. I know why. Um, spine buster uh, yeah. through, uh, through the table on John Cena. Yes. But, of course, John Cena gets right back yes. up. Super Cena, as they call as they call him. Yep. Um, and then, Tommy, they go to the announce table. Yes. And... And they're taking the stuff off, and yes. fucking Batista's like, here, here, Jerry, here's your shitty crown. Plastic <laughs> crown, <laughs> yeah, Jerry. The, yeah, the plastic crown, tosses him in the plastic shitty crown. Um, uh, starts uh, knocking all the shit off the table. And Tommy, they, uh, Batista sets up a, a, the steel stairs next to it. And Tommy, we see a big AA through the announce, through the announce yeah, table. Yeah, Cena reverses it. Cena Hits reverses Hits the it. AA on Batista through the announce table. But of course, Tommy, Batista, Batista gets, gets back up. up. Yeah, which I'll be honest with you, I was into the, I was into the match. Yeah, I was in. This was a really good last man standing match. It was it, it was really decent until we got to the finish. Yeah, which we're gonna be getting to here in a second. Then Tommy, Batista bomb. Yeah, <laughs> do, Batista. Do do Batista gets up. He sets up John Cena in the ring for the Batista bomb. Batista bomb uh, as my chair squeaks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and as uh, and as John Cena, of course, gets right back up. And then Tommy he gets down with 
he gets he gets Batista down with the STFU. Yes. I fucking hate that move. Yeah. And he's <laughs> ah! yeah. <laughs> Batista is tapping out. And he gets to the rope course and no avail. And no no rope breaks none of this because it's last man standing. Yeah. Well, Tommy, Batista ends up getting back up. He gets right back up. And Cena has that look of astonishment on his face. Yeah, and then Cena rolls out of the ring. Rolls out of the ring. Grabs Batista's legs, crotches him into the ring post. And this is where it gets... And this is where it gets, fuck this match. Mm -hmm. He goes for some duct tape. That was in a that was in a toolbox. In a toolbox the where the sodas were. Yeah. Which I'd rather <laughs> use the soda. <laughs> I would use anything better than this fucking fish. Yeah. And he grabs the duct tape. It takes him forever to he fucking roll it up. He tapes Batista's feet to the ring post. Over and over and over. Almost used the whole goddamn roll of tape. Yeah. And fuck it. And then Cena rolls into the ring. As the referees count because Batista's Ref technically yeah. on the ground. Yeah, and, Bat and fucking Cena counting down with him. And then, and then 10. And yeah. Batista couldn't get up. Because he's tied, his legs are tied between the ring posts. A fucking shitty fucking fin It killed the match. It did. It killed the fucking match. It did. Because it me. pissed me off. It, I would have had no problem seeing him winning. No, I would have had no problem with that. But it it's shitty just way. a fucking shitty finish. Yeah. He holds up the belt, fade to black, Dodo B logo. Res we did hear recipe for Dodo. And recipe for Dodo. Uh, that made me at least a little bit happy. <laughs> But it still made me pissed off about the finish. Um, and then that's the WWE. That's the end of Extreme Rules 2010. Let's see. We have uh, one, two, three. Um, yeah, sorry. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight matches. And at least four of them are passable. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, Tommy, worst match on the card? Worst match? Extreme Makeover. Extreme Makeover. Um, the, to me, the three worst matches on the whole card, the Extreme Makeover, the Strap Match, and the Gauntlet Match. The Gauntlet Match. I have to agree. Uh, match of the Night for you. Match of the Night? Match of the Night. I had to go with Rey Mysterio and CM Punk. I have to agree. A close second would be Sheamus and Triple yeah, H. Yeah, she Sheamus and Triple H would be second. And... The last man standing match was good till the fucking the finish. finish. And the Edge and Jericho match was good also. Yeah. So, if I were you, this this match, this paper was just a four match card. Mm -hmm. It's like a fucking Smackdown Shut Your Mouth. We only had three <laughs> or four matches? Yeah. That's what this was. And we got skip the rest of them and watch those four matches. And we have one extra special feature. Yes. Uh, it's on Monday Night Raw after WrestleMania. And it's Shawn Michaels', Michaels farewell speech. Yeah, Shawn Michaels' farewell speech. So. Um, which, you know, just pretty much talks about how he's going to go home yeah. and eat cookies. And... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's wearing the red red shirt. Yeah, with the cowboy hat. With the cowboy hat and says, I'll be back for, for the Saudi Arabia show, and, and this time I'll be bald. <laughs> yeah. And HBK has left the building. Yeah. So. Until he, uh, until he comes to Saudi Arabia with a bald head. Yes. And have one of the worst um, matches of his whole career. But uh, half the show was, was decent. Yeah. The rest of the show is pretty shit. Yeah. If I were you, just watch these four matches. Batista versus John Cena. Fucking CM Punk versus Rey Mysterio. Jericho versus Edge. And uh, the street fight match between Triple H and Sheamus. That's all you need to watch. No doubt. Hope that you guys enjoyed WWE Extreme Rules 2010. Guys, come back to us for the next one. Which is WWE Over the Limit. Over the Limit. See, 2010. They, yeah, this should have been under the limit because this was horrible. <laughs> this was pretty horrible. 50% uh, accuracy there. But hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share all of our social media. Like us on Facebook. Facebook.com. So Facebook Rampage 2. You can also add me and Tommy on Facebook as well. Guys, also, make sure you guys follow us on Twitter at yes. Russell Rampage. As well, guys, make sure you guys follow me and Tommy on Instagram. Yes. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we're that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop and nobody does it better.